Okay, in the previous videos, I showed you, you know, basically how to have an app where you can post information about, um, you know, groceries or supplies in the area, you know, like during COVID-19, right? Like there's TP available or wipes available at Walgreens, right? So that stuff, that, those kind of, posts. so in general, a posting app about information. And we tested it and it works. We, we started with some kind of fake data. We're not using this variable anymore. And now we have a cloud variable called post by users. And that's where all the data gets put. And then we display it in this list viewer. And one, you know, one thing we haven't done though is tested it with multiple users. Cause the big, you know, huge thing about cloud variables is it allows shared data. So, you know, two different users can have an instance of the app or two or more, right? And they can both use, be using the app and they should be able to see each other's posts, you know, like, like normal in normal social networking app. So let's just take a look at the situation. Um, you know, Thunkable's got these cloud variables and our cloud variables called post by user. Okay, in this, in this example, more general one, it's called notes, a variable notes. But the idea is you've got these different users. Dave, you know, makes a change to the variable notes. So maybe he posts some and that cloud variable changes. And what you need is for all the other users to get notified of that fact so that they can update their, their screens, right? So, you know, when Dave makes a post, without Sally and Kira doing anything, they should see the new post at the top of their list. At least with this app, that's what we're doing. And the key, you know, in Thunkable is there's this, this event we haven't talked about. It's called when some variable, and this one's called notes, when it initializes or changes. And that's the event, anytime you make a change to a variable, that event gets sent to all the other app instances. And so you just need to code your app to deal with that event. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna code that up and then what I'm gonna do is I've got my phone here and it's also running um, Thunkable Live. So I'm running Thunkable Live on both uh, this tablet that my tablet's showing over here, I'm projecting on the screen and I got this other, this other, my phone in my hand. Okay, here it is. All right, so anyway, first let's do the coding part. So I'm gonna move these guys down a little bit and you know, I'm gonna to go to the variables area or folder and here it is, I've got this event. Now I don't care about this post variable, I mean, I'm not using it anymore, but what I care about is when post by user changes, right? And it's gonna change every time the user clicks submit and adds a new item essentially. So when, when this happens, this event's gonna get triggered, but the key is it's gonna get triggered for all the users of this same app, right? And all we need to do is update the list viewer so it shows the new data, okay? I mean, right when we add to this variable post by users, the, the variable in the cloud, the database variables changed, but all we need to do is update the the list viewer so we, we actually show it. Okay, so this is my tablet. I'm gonna come over here on my phone. I'll kind of show it to you. Here's, it's the same app running, um, but what I'm gonna do is enter something over here. I'll just say hi from Dave. It's kind of a goofy kind of thing. So Dave is, is gonna post this. So I'm gonna click the post it button and um, you'll notice on my screen, on my phone here, hi from Dave showed up, but if you notice over here in the, in, in, on my tablet, it also got that same note and it displayed the new note from, from the other user. Um, so kind of the important thing is you wanna, when you use cloud variables, the important thing is, you know, the data can be shared amongst users. And there's one key event that you need to worry about, which is this, initializes or changes events. And typically what you do in here is kind of just show, uh, you know, update your user interface to show the new data. And it, what I'm doing with this thing is just list viewer.set text items. So in my list viewer, show the post by user list. And because that post by users list is updated, it takes what, what my phone just put on the cloud 
and sends it and makes it so all the other users, in this case, there's just the, my tablet also running and it, it shows it there.